Hey y'all, today on the farm I got the planters all tore apart because if you are being, you've been keeping up lately, you know planting season is over with. Well, at least the primary planting season is over with. My corn is, is about eight to 10 foot tall right now. My soybeans are, are about 10 or 12 inches tall and the peanuts are all cracking dirt everywhere. So we're done planting our main row crops. My butter beans are the next thing i'm going to harvest they're looking good but we have just finished harvesting these green beans and a lot of you have uh or some of you have noticed that this is an early season crop i'm already done with it and this is first week of june so what am i going to do with this land the rest of the year and as some of you have pointed out it is a opportune time to do a double crop so i'm just to come in here and plow these green bean plants under flip them under along with this crab grass and other stuff that's come up in them because I, as stated before, I don't spray anything on my green beans. They are all natural, so I do get some weeds in here. But we're gonna plow all this under, turn it under, and we're gonna come in here and plant a double crop, which means a second crop for the year on one field. I'm gonna plant a late planting of butter beans that'll be ready probably August, and I'm gonna plant pumpkins yes you heard me right i'm gonna be planting pumpkins i this will be my second year planting pumpkins i planted four varieties last year and pumpkins are notoriously hard to grow in south georgia because of our humidity but thankfully whenever there is something hard to do in the agricultural world the university of georgia is hard at work on it and they have come up with a special pumpkin called orange bulldog that's designed specifically for south georgia climate watch these videos and tell me how deep I'm not plowing all the time. They like to tell you, oh, you're going too shallow, you're going too shallow. We're going to take a little measure here and see exactly how deep we're going. So we're going to come over here to the ground level and measure up to the top of this plow and I'll pick the whole plow up and we'll see how deep the plow is to the bottom from where we measure. This first pan here, this is ground level right here. looks like eight and a half inches this is the very same plow we pulled out eight and a half inches this is right here we pull up from the bottom and we are right about in between 
12 and 13 inches deep at the tip of the plow to where we're running that ground level. So we're pulling a seven bottom plow. Just over a foot deep. Now that we've got it all plowed up, all flipped over, we gotta go get the field cultivator on the 4960 and come back and get it smoothed up nice and flat and ready for the planters to roll on. So we got the ground all prepared. It's nice and smooth as silk. It's been bottom plowed and field cultivated and it is beautiful, clean and flat. We got the seven John Deere 7000 planters hooked up to the 6115M with guidance. I am going to plant with 45 to 50 year old planters with guidance. Why not? We're going to try it out. But we have rain just on the other side of this field. I can sit on the trees. It's raining at my house right over there right now. And I don't want to plant moments before rain, get caught out here in the rain, have to scramble. I'm going to be, I'm going to have fertilizer in the planter and seed. That's going to be trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and move the planter into the barn down yonder. I'm going to start battening down the hatches, getting everything rainproof, putting the welder up, getting everything out of the weather and ready to turn off all these irrigations. I got pivots running on all the crops right now. When it starts lightning, those pivots are like magnets. They attract the lightning and it can cost all kinds of trouble and money. So we're about to put everything up for the day, but we're gonna kick back off here tomorrow morning, planting late, green, uh, late butter beans and peas and pumpkins. I thank all y'all for watching. Hope to see you next time.